When converting a garden tractor to an electric tractor, I built the machine to do the work that I needed done. The batteries are the main weight contributor of the electric tractor, so now why not take a hindrance and make it into an asset? Mount the batteries as low as possible and centered evenly between the front and back wheels. This will make the machine very stable with great traction and the wheels will be less likely to sink in on soft ground. My electric tractor has a 1.5 horsepower 24 volt shunt wound DC motor. I have enough power to do what I need from building ponds and grading the driveway to lifting back straining loads. All the work is done on less than the amount of energy that it would take to run a handheld blow dryer. It is difficult to compare a gas tractor to an electric tractor because a gas or diesel engine will have heat and noise loss. Then the friction loss in the drivetrain and hydraulic pump will mean that it will take a 8 to 12 horsepower gas or diesel tractor to do the same work as my 1.5 horsepower tractor. The power from the electric motor goes directly to the back wheels, meaning there is very little heat loss and there is almost no noise loss. The energy to run my tractor normally comes from solar panels. The fuel for a gas or diesel tractor comes from a long, expensive process that will be depleted at some point. I am pretty certain that my fuel will be around indefinitely.
I have used this electric tractor for many hours. I have also found that it is stable on rough terrain. It will usually slide down a slope before it will tip over. I would never try this with a long tractor.